Hey everybody, it's Harish Swaminathan. Welcome to the free course library. In this mini course, we are going to look at how you can hedge a per your portfolio with one spider trade. So let's back up a little and see why we would need to use this in the first place. So let's say we add a portfolio of uh, which is a combination of stocks as well as options. So as you can see here, Apple, I have some stock. I have 200 shares, um, shows a little bit of profit. I have uh, Amazon, which is options. We have a call spread here. Uh, has a bit of loss um, and then uh, same thing on FedEx, Google, we have some options positions. So, you know, the, the, a normal portfolio might look like something like this. You have a few stocks, you might have a couple of options positions and now you're concerned that the overall market might take a downward trend uh, for whatever reason. So, you know, as of uh, now in uh, the middle of August, we are looking at the Russia-Ukraine crisis. And so you have this portfolio, you don't want to close everything out, but you want to position yourself uh, in such a manner that even if the markets uh, take a crash either next week or any time, um, your portfolio is not going to get affected a whole lot. So the way you do that is um, you can see now in terms of your delta, you know, options, uh, I mean, uh, stocks have full 100 delta. So basically, if you have 200 shares, you have 200 delta because if the stock goes up by $1, then, you know, your Apple shares will be up by $200 because you have 200 shares. But options are different. Uh, you, depending on which strike price you have, uh, your deltas are going to be different. So if you just looked at the raw deltas, um, you have 200 deltas on, on Apple, you have 154 on Amazon, you have 131 on FedEx and 108 uh, on Google. But the deltas of all these stocks are not the same. So, you know, the Apple delta is not the same as Amazon delta. So one delta on Apple is not the same as one delta on, on Amazon because both have different uh, correlations to the overall market. And so you would want to beta weight this uh, portfolio uh, to the spider, which is the overall market. So by when you beta weight, the concept of beta weighting is that each individual stock has its own beta, which is the correlation to the overall markets. And so when you beta weight it to say the spider, then what you're doing is you're reducing every stock and it's beta, you, the, the, the platform obviously calculates all of this for you, but the platform will calculate the beta of each of the stocks in this portfolio and uh, it will take its beta into account and it will reduce it to a common spider level delta. So basically if we do this, if I uh, beta weight it, now you can see in terms of the spider, we would need 861 deltas on the spider. So which means we can now come to the spider and say, so if you wanted to, you know, we have positive uh, 861 delta. So if you, if we wanted to beta weight this and make it delta neutral on the spider, we would have to buy a certain amount of spider put options. We would buy put options because we have positive delta here and therefore to neutralize it, you would want to buy uh, uh, the spider put options. So let's go take a look at the spiders and let's say we want it um, to, uh, to give it protection of let's say about a month or so. So let's go into the September series and you, you, you want to buy a certain amount of spider put options so that it equals to 861 negative delta. So, you know, let's say we wanted to buy the 190 put. So the spiders are at 195. So let's say we wanted to buy the 190 put. And you can see if you buy 10 contracts of the uh, spider puts, you would get 255 delta. So perhaps we want to buy about 30 uh, two maybe uh, so that we get 861 so we, we might want to you know you want to check that and see how you get it 843 so I think the right amount would be about 34 spider put contracts of the 190 put option 
that gives you negative 869 deltas just from the spiders and uh, if you look at your position you have 861 positive deltas and this will give you uh, 869 negative deltas so you'll be negative by about six or seven deltas which is perfect so now how much would this cost this would cost about let's say well, the option is going for 1.4 uh, so $1400 so about $4500 uh, if you spend $4,500 on uh, the uh, spider put options, you can completely hedge your entire portfolio. So obviously your entire portfolio is probably worth a lot more. You can see it's worth uh, about $27,000. So spending $4,500 to protect this overall portfolio is not bad and and it doesn't mean that whatever you spend on the spiders is going to go away. It's not going to go down to zero. Um, first of all, if the markets crash like you uh, fear that it uh, that it might, then these put options are actually going to be profitable. And uh, not only that, if over a period of the next few days, say five to seven days, if the uh, risks in the market go away, so in, in which case then you don't need these options any longer, then you can perhaps even sell them, maybe for even for a small profit if the spiders have gone down a little bit, uh, you know, these put options might uh, increase in value. Uh, even if it does not increase in value and it goes down a little bit, uh, it has served the purpose of hedging your overall portfolio. So you can always beta weight your entire portfolio to anything. Uh, you can, uh, if you have NASDAQ stocks, which is which is uh, most of these stocks are NASDAQ. So perhaps you want to beta weight it to the um, NASDAQ ETF. And now you can see you, you know, you need actually 1624 deltas um, when you, um, when you beta weight it to the NASDAQ. So you want to see, you want to take a look at your portfolio and um, decide which index it is that you would need to beta weight your portfolio on. And because that's critical. So in fact, in this case, you would not come to the spider, you would come to the QQQ because all of your uh, all of the stocks are Nasdaq stocks uh, except for FedEx uh, all the others are Nasdaq stocks so you would want to come and uh, actually uh, he uh, beta weight your portfolio hedge it uh, with a um, with the QQQ so here you can see actually you're going to be uh, spending uh, less contracts I mean you, you'll need about less contracts so let's say let's put 25 and there we go we have 837 uh, negative actually may not that's not true you would need 1600 in this case and if you see 1624 and this gives you 1674 gives you a little bit more so perhaps you can just do about 45 contracts let's see that's too less so maybe about 47 contracts uh, on the QQQ or maybe 48 and this would approximately hedge your portfolio uh, on the queues because most of these stocks are NASDAQ stocks. So you would want to uh, hedge it against the queues. And so this, uh, again, you would spend uh, around the same amount. Uh, you would spend about uh, 4,500, 4,600 on this. And of course, you can close out this hedge at any time. But the important thing is you, when you want to know how many queues you have to buy, how many contracts of the queues you have to buy, you have to beta weight it to the queues and that will give you the exact deltas that you need on the queues to completely hedge this portfolio. So if you take off the beta weighting, you'll see you have only a raw delta of 594, but then just having the raw delta doesn't make any sense because all of these um, stocks are going to move differently. So you want to reduce them all to a common base and you do that by beta weighting it uh, against the queues. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please send us an email at info at optiontiger.com. Thank you.